Did you know that Jesus became poor so that you can become rich? In other words, Jesus died to make you rich. I want you to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. This is a very important passage, and it says this, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you through his poverty might become rich. This is substitutionary talk. You see, the cross is the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ. And Christ exchanged one thing for us so that we can obtain what he has. We see this language found earlier in this book in 2 Corinthians 5, uh, uh, 21, where it says, uh, Jesus, who knew no sin, became sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. So Jesus, who was righteous, he gave us his righteousness, but he had to take our sin so we can have his righteousness. Well, Paul adds something else to the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ. He's saying that Jesus also became poor by taking our poverty so that we can become rich with his riches. Now, somebody might say, well, now, Bishop, I, I, yes, he, we're to be rich, but rich spiritually only. Wrong. The context of this passage is Paul receiving a love offering an alms offering for the poor saints in Jerusalem. He's encouraging the Corinthian church to give of their wealth, to give of their money, to give of their clothes and their food, to make a generous donation, to help people financially. So the context is finances. It's not spiritual context. Uh, secondly, Paul actually tells us what he means by rich in the next chapter because he continues the theme of collecting the offering. So in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 11, he says, and you will be made rich, watch this, in every way, so you can be generous on every occasion. Notice, to be rich in what way? He says every way. So when Paul says that Jesus became poor so that we might become rich, he clarifies and makes sure we understand it's in every way. So don't put a limitation on this. Don't just say, well, I'm just to be rich spiritually, not materially. No, include spiritual riches, but include every way. Why limit God's redemption for you? You see, the cross is a complete total redemption, not a partial redemption. He redeemed us from sin and all of its consequences, which would include poverty. So as a child of God, you should have the right and expect prosperity, provided, of course, you're a generous person. So the good news is, Jesus died to make you rich. Now believe it and be generous. God bless you.